All right, now I want to talk about the type of operator. This is a operator that we can use to determine what is the data type of a variable. Simple enough, but it has some oddities to it, so it's good to look into exactly what it's going to do with all of these data types that I've got defined here. All right, to start with, I've got three primitives. That's my first three variables here, string, number, and boolean. Those three data types, I'm going to be writing them out at the bottom here, console logging them. I'm going to get string, number, and boolean because that's what they are, and they are primitives. So there we go. String, number, boolean. So this variable is a string, this one is a number, this one's a boolean. Simple enough. Now, object and array. Those are our next couple that we're looking at here. With object and array, object, I'm going to get back object, fair enough, but with array, I'm also going to get back object. So let me remove the comments here, run this again. There we go. Object is object, but array is also considered to be an object. If you ever need to test whether or not something is array, there is an array function, or an is array function. So you can use that array dot is array, and then error. So if I put this inside of a log command, there we go, it'll be our very first thing inside of our code. True. So we do know that this is an array. This may be something that you need at some point in order to test things. Okay, now these other ones here, date, I've got two different versions of this. One is new date, so I'm using the new constructor to create a date object. This is being passed back into the variable today, and then I'm just calling date. The difference between these two is that new date will return the date object, and date will return the value of the current date. So if I uncomment those last two, there we are, clear this off, run this again, there we are. So today comes back as an object. That's what new date does. It gives you a date object, which type of will say, yes, this thing is an object. DT is a string because this returns to you the value of the current string. It doesn't return the date object, it returns the value, which is a string. f equals function, so I have a function that I've declared here. When I run this one, f comes back as function, so that is actually a type that we can work with. And then the last three that I have here, those special cases for different types with uh, null, undefined, and not a number, three of the falsy values. Clear this off, run it one more time. There we are, the last three. So not a number will actually return number as its data type, something that you, you may not expect. Undefined returns undefined. Great, okay, that's its own data type. Null returns object. So not always what you expect with type of. If you're dealing with primitives, you're going to get an answer that you expect. Objects, fine, they're objects. Functions are functions. The dates, it depends on whether you're talking about the value or the, ob the date object itself. If it's the date object, you're going to get object. And then these last three, those are ones just to keep in the back of your head for times when you need to test. If you are really trying to find out if something is not a number, your best bet is to do something like this in your if statement. Not a number equals, and then whatever your variable is that you're testing it against. Just compare to see, okay, is this variable not a number? Or is this thing no? Or is this thing undefined? That's the best way for you to really know what you're working with. All right, thanks for watching. If you have any comments, please, or questions, leave them in the comments.